Okay. <laughs> Every time. I love it so much. <laughs> Where is that possum even from? God. Oh, my mic is fighting me. We are finishing the plushie requests from last week and maybe working on Twitch art because <laughs> uh, this is my my last stream before affiliate if I get accepted before Monday but yeah I'll I have the numbers, I have the followers, uh, I have the hours, but I don't have the uh, separate days streamed, which is pretty buck wild, I gotta say. It's very nice. Well. But I also might have to uh, hop up for like two minutes to get my door. So I have a farm share coming today. I'm trying to wrap my head around this horn. I will move it when I'm done getting its basic shape. ready um and i need a sub badge but uh that's probably just gonna be like a little gargoyle wing Good luck with your training class. I remember you saying you were getting a raise. It'll be fun. was just kind of like expected to train people with no training training in my last job and that was no fun at all <laughs> oh my god I'm accidentally giving this dude Makashimo hair but I love Makashimo <laughs> oh. I know nothing about, like, adult human jobs. 
I was a barista and I worked at a pet store. <laughs> And at the pet store, one of my bosses was seven years younger than me. Though, knowing call center stuff is, like, pretty good for just, like, existing as a person in a shitty economy. Oof. My, uh... My friend Lizzie went to culinary school and uh, it, it stressed her out so much. But she went for pastry and baking. So her finals were like, uh, make a bunch of buttercream roses and freeze them. <laughs> Good nooning to you, B. I, I will probably bring this up several times, uh, but I there is a fairly high chance my doorbell will ring during this stream, and it is <clears throat> very scary, and it gets me every time, um, and so I just wanted I want to put that content warning out. because I will scream and sometimes when it goes off when I'm playing video games with friends they scream but I I really didn't want to reschedule cuz my partner's streaming today and I wanted to be done in time to watch anime with him before he streams. Uh, yeah, I, I've. Uh, I wish I had dogs as a doorbell. It would be, it would actually be easier for me. <laughs> so, I live on the first floor of an apartment building, like right next to the main door, and so like I could, one hundred percent, hear if people knock because it's like entrance to the lobby and then my door a foot away but no one up ever knocks they just slam on the doorbell my my delivery driver is is very sweet because we we told him one time that the doorbell scares the cat and he he gives it a little beep beep but that uh every thursday we watch higarashi and re-zero it's coming out um, and uh, Higarashi has just started becoming even more buck wild than we thought it would be uh, this new season. So we're we're trying to keep up with it before one of us gets spoiled. Oh, <sighs> this week's Wonder Egg priority. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I feel like anyone that has the energy to watch the anime will find, like, a really, uh, relatable character. Like, uh, they... No spoilers, but, uh, the episode this week has... it has gender. It's got gender in it. And I, I, I love it when things have gender in them. And, uh, oh man, I've been watching, uh, Otherworld Picnic, and it's, like, legitimately gay. I didn't, I didn't know if it would, like, bait me, you know? But it's gay. How do fucking collars work? I literally drew one. 
last time. Yeah, I myself don't have a lot of gender, but I, I love I love talking about gender. I love experiencing gender. Though I don't I don't know how gender it's gonna be. Cause you know, anime They like to do the oh this this person is just confused thing. I draw the other side of this collar. Yeah, I, I really don't know how anyone can afford a gender right now, but some some people can. And I'm I'm not gonna shame them for it. I'm drawing a lot of ties in this set. It's it's technically only two, but like that feels like a lot for me. That someone looks at my art style and goes, "Here, have my my business casual OC." <laughs> oh, you're you're a little girl on your mom's side. My my gender's a Wilhelm scream. Sometimes it's jello, but it changes with the seasons, you know, for safety. I, I like feel bad giving everyone this like soft plushy belly. <laughs> so everyone's giving me like these, these live swimmers body twinks. <laughs> And I'm like, here. <laughs> you'll be chubby and you'll like it. Oh, that's the wrong brush. I, I like uh, Cadmus's work capris. I forgot to do yoga today. I I totally meant to before stream. But I'll do it after. I can't do like normal workouts. I have to do stay in one place for a very long time while the cat tries to get your attention workouts. Belt. doing my first collab on Saturday and it will be ridiculous so bone pharaoh was asking people if they wanted to play toontown with them <laughs> uh 
And I, I think we're still adding people to the lineup if you, if you want to play Toontown. It is um, uh, an MMO originally published by Disney um, that was uh, taken down, I think, four years ago. Um, but there is a private server, completely non-profit, so we can stream it without breaking terms of service, um, called Rewritten. And uh, it is literally, you are a tune, like Who Framed Roger Rabbit tune, um, like Disney style, and... Uh, your world is being invaded by these robots called cogs that want to get rid of all the color and force everyone to work. <laughs> it's literally Disney made a game about capitalism killing people. <laughs> Disney. Um, and I played it in middle school with my my siblings uh and when i found out that rewritten was going on i made um i made a new character and they like took all of the paid content and gave it to everyone for free and like it's it's so nostalgic and it's so sweet um and like you can only like quote unquote talk to people on your friends list. You have like a set um, phrase list that you can like talk to strangers with, but you can only type to people on your friends list. And so like, there's no harassment um, because like you have to add someone to be able to actually speak to them. Like the worst someone can say to you is you stink. <laughs> um. And so, like, uh, in its time, it was, like, a, re a really nice, like, kid-friendly MMO. Um, and, like, it has a combat system where um, it's, like, turn-based and you, um, you get, like, different types of powers, like, but they're all called gags because you are playing pranks on the cogs to get them to stop being so mean to you. Uh, and so you have like pies and like water-based gags and uh, my favorite is sound because it's just AOE <laughs> and there's a fucking raid <laughs> I, I have so much Toontown based nostalgia Th there's a mini pet system and the mini pets are the healing so like you can be like a summoner who heals the party. And there's housing. There's housing and there's like a clothing system. It's beautiful. It was so ahead of its time. Um, and I, I really loved it when it was a, a video game that I could play, but yeah. Uh, Bone Pharaoh got interested and asked if people, if mutuals would like to play with them. And I was like, I already have a character, but they're not very, like, strong. And they have the same name as another streamer, so I'd probably like to make a new, <laughs> make a new character. And so we're, we're making new characters. <laughs> Well, we should at the at the very least play some Black Desert together. Cause I wanna I wanna level my Nova. <laughs> yeah, I I like sat on that message that I was sending, asking to be involved for like two hours. So don't <laughs> don't don't think I am ahead of you in the asking strangers to play video games thing because I'm not <laughs> why 
divided, I think. Why did I not redraw this foot? Even though it gives me problems every time. I should also at some point level my shy, but I need better gear and <laughs> I hate getting gear in this video game. Oh, whoops. Face. I don't know anything about this character, but judging by this PNG, they probably wouldn't smile. Let's just do a little, just a little stitch frown. <laughs> they look so upset. Oh my god. I've taken a perfectly good demon and given it anxiety. humans. No, you've taken a perfectly good monkey and you've given it anxiety. <laughs> They're gonna catch those hands in a hug or a hearty handshake. I've been fighting the whole uh, just existential terror of speaking to human beings on the internet, but got a network. Yeah, it definitely is. I'm definitely getting faster at this.
can I just crop this, save it, and then uncrop it? <laughs> Oh yeah, some, just a, a healthy dose of disassociation. from her Twitter. She's currently streaming, <laughs> so I'm not gonna bother her. When I promote, which I don't do often, I I need to get on that, but when I do, I, I like to remind myself that, like, I enjoy interaction and other people who, like, specifically have promotion threads probably also like it too, <laughs> but it's, it's just convincing yourself man I really should have uh, included the eyes in the base drawing and it's only occurring to me like eight of these in I can't tell if her 3D model has the scars in her reference. I mostly just kind of want to draw scars. <laughs> on a plushie, you know. I wish I knew more about Destiny. I feel like it's a game that I would like, in theory, enjoy. Oh gosh, 
stretching out my legs. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Destiny is about orbs? I like orbs. I have been known to partake in a, in a good orb now and again. Someone asked one of my friends to collab, and then that person just took to linking their stream all over their Twitch Discord server and demanding people come watch. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't even try to pretend to know songs anymore. But yeah, I, I feel like actually like asking for collabs in this community is like a little bit of a minefield it's something that like you should definitely keep an eye on but like it's a game i wanted to play bone pharaoh seems cool Ugh. I was going to stream uh, making Hemlock in um, City of Heroes, and I was so excited, and then I was like, huh, I wonder if I'm allowed to stream City of Heroes Homecoming, because it's technically a for-profit private server, so it's like a lot, it's a huge legal gray area. And apparently... It is against Twitch Terms of Service, but Twitch doesn't really do anything about it. But <laughs> the devs of City of Heroes Homecoming have said that if you stream or record the game, they will ban your account. And so I had all of this like nostalgic energy. It's like, I'm gonna play City of Heroes, it's gonna be so much fun! I'm gonna make hemlock because I know I can make hemlock in that game like it's got the character creation to it uh, but like I I really don't blame them for being uh, really afraid because they they had like a talk with NC soft um, and it like it apparently did not go super well like they didn't really get any information on whether or not they would be sued by a giant company um and so they like don't accept actual payment for the game they have like a donation stream uh, a donation set up once a month and people love the game so much that like they get the volunteers money just to keep the servers up every month in like 15 minutes which is really cool but i uh, i really wish that i could stream it and i really wish that i could get more people to play city of heroes with me because i i absolutely adored that game as a kid and um the homecoming devs are doing some really fucking nice work updating it. I forgot that I was drawing the eyes now. And like, you guys know VTubers and character creators. You could make pretty much any VTuber in City of Heroes. Whoops.
don't want to fuck with NCSoft. That that is what I learned from my research. <laughs> That sounds very good. I want to be Bob Ross. God, I forgot this fucking playlist has Wonderwall on it. But uh, lo-fi DMCA uh, avoiding wonderful. <laughs> nice. I'm I'm trying to keep track of like indie games and like early stuff. Yeah, I just- I, I like this one because it's called Lo-Fi for Witches, and it makes me happy. <laughs> I'm not, like, officially a witch tuber, but... The aesthetic. The aesthetic is there. my like closest friends in the meat space are uh, Wiccans and it's just such a a nice way to go about life you know and like the whole like, just, like, put your intentions out into the world, and that's magic, baby. It's like, I love it. through these a lot faster than I thought I would. It's been 45 minutes and I'm almost done with a second one. And I only have five right now. Oh, I used to joke that I'm uh, a social justice druid. A support character but like I can fucking tank if you need me to you know
Why did I color the pants like the lines of the pants like that? They're black. I guess my brain was like stuck on the boots or something. song is this? I can't remember anything ever. Checking my phone for the text from my delivery man. <laughs> Terror. Okay. Definitely prefer the bucket tool inside over Clip Studio, but Clip Studio is so much better in every other way that I will deal with it. Stitches, okay. We've got a parry. Moving on to my friends' requests from my Discord and my my beautiful, beautiful Fey Mouse wife Penne. I I love Penne more than anything else in the world. Look at her. I love her so much. She's so little. 
And she's a princess. Also, her entire family is named after different pastas. She was originally uh, an Orin in Wildstar, and then she just turned into like my friend's main D&D character. And I really regret, regret not playing enough Wildstar with him when it was out. our characters would not have gotten along, but in a very funny way. I think this particular art of Penny is by his roommate, Rad, who has a, a, a very nice art style. In D&D, she is technically a fae, but... I love her so much. Beautiful little rat, maybe. to draw a little plushy tail right now so I don't forget forgot that she has like a fluffy tail in this version it's it's, it's soft I wish it was more rat like but he gave me like five references uh, but I, I always prefer this one because of the little cape. It's her dad's cape when he was an adventurer. It just makes her look like the little villain. just uh, did a little blink let's let's stay connected bud I love you I love you and we're friends right <laughs> Definitely gonna. Why is my tablet blinking? Give me one moment. My tablet just went black. <laughs> no signal. You better have some fucking signal, bud. 
Oh my god. HDMI cable started to come out the back. We're all right. Nothing's breaking. This is fine. <laughs> Existential terror handled. Move my rat friends. My rat friends. Yeah, that's why I haven't tried the seasons yet. Cause I was just like, uh, I I will probably attempt to just savor my uh, pre fifty experience. Yeah, I like already know the <laughs> the fastest leveling tactics. I'm not gonna push myself that far. Does it, like, affect the super slow leveling after you hit 50? Because I might remake as a season character. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, do you have access to, like, your stuff? No, you don't. I, I want to cheat and have all my normal stuff, so I don't, I don't think I'll do it. But it's cool to know that it's, like, zooming. I thought it was supposed to be so everyone's on the same playing field. Oh, yeah. Do they, like, stop being a season character when the season is over? Or... Is it just always like that? Oh, okay. Then I, I, might, I might remake my Nova as a season character for when I, I play her next week on stream. Oh, okay. So I wanted I wanted to have like a character to play, but like I don't know if I can if I can zoom a little bit uh, and use it for uh, awakening. It might be worth it. <laughs> Okay. 
I, I forced my partner to look it up when I was playing last week, uh, but he, he did not look very hard. Thank you. Your your knowledge is very important to me. It's like the possibility that I wouldn't have access to all my horses like definitely made me like rethink it cuz I I cannot exist without my horses. Okay. Because I'm fine, like, pretending that, uh, I don't have to worry about getting gear. Yeah, be I'm a horse bitch. It was gonna come out eventually. I took horseback riding as a child. I I sang country music as a child. That was uh It's my my sad backstory. My colors are like right under my microphone. So my my model might be a little confused. <laughs> hell yeah, be hell yeah. <laughs> We're gonna start a, a water polo club in in Black Desert. Oh yeah, I uh, though the country music I listened to as a child uh, is uh, not great, but um, you know the dude that wrote the song She Thinks My Tractor's Sexy? Um, I need to, I need to remember his name because this, this story will shock and amaze you. Um, Okay, Kenny Chesney. Kenny Chesney. Kenny Chesney has put out a song about uh, about cunnilingus <laughs> called The Tip of My Tongue. <laughs> and the best part about Kenny Chesney uh, like, heartthrob to white moms everywhere putting out a very sexy song called Tip of My Tongue that is 100% about just eating some good puss, um, is that all the comments, all the comments on the video are either hey did anyone realize that this is about cunnilingus and hey how could any of you think that this song is about cunnilingus it's a beautiful love story <laughs> and, uh, i need to take a moment um and read you some lyrics from Kenny Chesney's tip of my tongue. Uh, I will be dramatic. Um, give me one second. 
Uh, it's a long way down to where I want to go. It's a long way down to the center of your soul. It's a long way down and I'm a loaded gun. But I love me some sugar on the tip of my tongue. Girl, believe me when I say it's true. Nobody makes me feel the way you do. Well, I love from the morning to the setting sun. Yeah, I can taste the ocean on the tip of my tongue. Let it rock, let it roll. Baby, I am under your control. Love me fast, kiss me slow. Hang on to anything you can hold. And there are 50-year-old moms in the comments saying, How can you guys think this is about cunnilingus? This, you're disgusting. <laughs> it's like, fuck you, lady. <laughs> Just because you have no reading comprehension <laughs> does not mean that this Kenny Chesney song is not about <laughs> cunnilingus. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool songs are about anal. And that's fine. Oh man. I I have a story. Um a non-sexual story about the the concept of everything being about anal, okay? Just stay with me here. Um I was playing uh, acclaimed massively multiplayer online role-playing game world of warcraft and um someone started joking about butt stuff and this guy peeps up and says i just colored the wrong thing the wrong color Fuck. um peeps up and says i feel like I'm the only person in the world who doesn't like this. And we're like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? And he's like, I I feel discriminated against because I do not like this act as a man. And so uh, as one does on the internet, we started just fucking clowning on this dude. Uh, because he thought that he was a minority for not liking to joke about butt stuff on the internet. And <laughs> he threatened to report us <laughs> for saying that he was being a baby because he didn't want to talk about anal on the internet. <laughs> he got, like... Yeah! <laughs> and, like, the fact that... He just- he did not seem to realize that everyone else was joking. Like... It's World of Warcraft. <laughs> Hi, Barry! <laughs> I was talking about that time I made fun of a man on the internet for saying that he was a minority for not liking butt stuff. I'm doing a penne, as you can see, but Barry is next. Yeah, I think I think it started because um, people were doing that that joke where you say anal and then you uh, you link an item in trade chat. <laughs> Love talking about anal while I draw pen a. <laughs> the the peg master. <laughs>
I literally have safer work in my profile. I'm doing my best. I'm having a day. No! <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I will take my clips. I will take my Twitter fame. <laughs> <laughs> I I do not know. <laughs> I do not know if he would find that funny. Maybe. <laughs> okay, okay. I guess this is proper revenge for me clipping you saying that uh, all acting is moaning. Ooh. Uh, this is a very... I need a slightly more saturated penne skin color. Oh, that's not her skin. <laughs> I I was saying earlier that I, I find it funny that so many people gave me these like uh cute twinks to draw <laughs> and I'm I'm making everybody squishy. But sometimes people wanna be squishy. I would hug Penne. Oh, but yeah, Barry, um, if you are willing to listen to country music right after waking up, please look up Kenny Chesney, Tip of My Tongue, and tell me what that song is about. That's how we got on this subject. I was talking about Kenny Chesney. Is on her corset. Yes. Oh man, I like completely meant to bring up a uh, surprisingly gay country. Um. It's my boy's name. I don't remember names at all. Orville Peck. I love Orville Peck. I love Orville Peck so fucking much. One of his music videos literally has a cum shot in it. But like out of a gun. <laughs> I uh I actually like first saw him in that episode of uh Brad Leone's show on Bon Appetit. Um And then I like legitimately listened to his music and yes. And my manager at work, who is a good friend of mine, like we play D&D &D together. Um, when we were opening one day, he was like, do you mind if I turn on some country? I like, <laughs> I have no one to talk to country about. Um, and he put on fucking Orville Peck. Oh my God, what are my favorite Orville Peck songs? 
let me let me look at the the list and uh i i fucking love hope to die um no glory in the west is very very good but hope to die is is it's it's the video with the the gun <laughs> that shoots him dead with the cum. Uh. <laughs> I like this penning. Yeah, I think like overall Hope to Die is my favorite Orbal Peck song. Ooh, stitches. I am I am like on a roll of remembering to do the stitches. Amazing. Wait, where's. Oh, I, I hid the line art and I was like, where'd it go? <laughs> what What is the song about? Please. Please tell me, Barry. Take a sip of my Mountain Dew while I wait for your critical analysis. Bagging? What? Oh, Turn to Hate is very good. But Penny, it's called Tip of My Tongue. He says he can taste the ocean. <laughs> song <laughs> Well yeah, she's in control definitely, but I imagine is like a head grabbing, you know? Body horror. <laughs> That's like Wishmaster 2 body horror. Oh, to add context, there is a man that dies in the second Wishmaster movie because uh, someone tells him to go fuck himself. It is not a good scene, and it is not a good movie. Wishmaster 1 and Wishmaster 3 are fine. Wishmaster 2 fucking sucks. They don't even have the same genie. 
Okay. I'm drawing Penne. Not Penne. Oh my god, I'm drawing Barry. I can't talk today. I'm doing my best. My my other wife, Barry. We are definitely going off model here. I have infinite wives. <laughs> I don't even have the same genie, jeez. I'm trying to get my partner to watch more horror movies with me. And I keep fucking up by, like, saying something that I think he will think is a plus, but apparently is a minus to him. Like, this movie has wet puppets. <laughs> uh... Which is apparently not a thing everyone wants to see in horror. <laughs> when I just I fucking love me a good a good wet puppet. <clears throat> like uh like Evil Dead too, wet puppets, you know? No! <laughs> uh, okay, I, I watch a lot of Scaredy Cats, which is Thought Slime's horror channel. And he... His, like, seal of approval is very important to me because I have like the same sense of humor and like horror as hey him and a lot of the time he will go okay I didn't think I was going to talk about this movie but it has wet puppets um and it's like it's like when you have like bad practical effects um and uh it's like you do bad practical effects where you put like corn syrup on everything to like try and make it more scary. That's what I mean by like a wet puppet. like an like an 80s like this oh i need to make this scarier someone put corn syrup on the puppet um oh my god what is it there's um that that movie where the dude has bees in his mouth that's got a good wet puppet in it Gremlins has wet puppets, you know? Yeah. Candyman, yes. Candyman's got some wet puppets. 
Um, fucking points to you for getting that from the man with bees in his mouth. Did you know those are real bees? Oh, my dentist is calling me. But my appointment is until next month. I will call back. Yeah, they like legitimately put bees in that poor man's mouth. I'm trying to like not <clears throat> simplify berry so much that you cannot tell it is a berry. <laughs> how how robot titties on plushy go <laughs> this is fine <laughs> I did not think about this at all before I started I can sport strawberry. I'll just put circles. It'll come across. I just kind of imagine a berry plushie to be like a bunch of different uh, strips of fabric. I don't know. I think I think I think we can pull this off and have it not look terrible. I like looking at her little robot. Man, fucking wonder wall. <laughs> okay. Let us attempt to line this. Oh, I should have. I mean, this is my, uh, I guess my, uh, my tangents have actually, uh, put me back on the proper timeline, so that's nice. I, I was gonna say, uh, I, I am already, like, working a little bit too fast for my time block. Thank you. 
Thank you. I don't think I've ever drawn berry before. This will be valuable practice. Even if it is just a plushie. Oh, whoops. Okay, have fun. Thank you for dropping by. Have a mocha. That'll be nice. I gotta do these in tenor. I'm gonna forget. Definitely progress. I should color that sketch. Okay. I might simplify things by just using this blue for all of the blue. <laughs> This is working. <laughs> oh man, it is getting so close to the time where my boy Scotty normally delivers my groceries. Yeah, 
145 is when he normally comes. But it's been so snowy and I don't know how much work he has today. So maybe he'll come after stream? That would be nice. <laughs> We're doing this. We're doing this. It's working. Doesn't look horrible when I hide the sketch. Hell yeah. the wrong gradient. How did I have a fucking... 
Oh, hey, Aaron. Thank you. I... I am going to have two art days next week. Um, and... One will just be normal drawing, and then the other will be 3D modeling, kind of. Technically. Uh, using the, the program that I made Radani's model in, which I am very excited for. Ooh. I haven't been having peanut butter toast, but I have been having, um, I bought this honey from a native owned bee farm and, uh, it's like crystallized honey with, um, freeze dried raspberries mixed in. And that has been my fucking jam. Silent Hill Toast? I don't know what that means, but I am intrigued. I have uh, seen some cursed fucking food this week. My uh, Mountain Dew cookbook came in. Okay. Mm, I'm gonna stretch and use the bathroom. And then we will work on Wins. Uh, Vera? Mm. <laughs> oh no. I will be right back. Uh, please enjoy this gif of me bouncing.
Oh, I remember reading that. I forgot that it was uh, Masahiro Ito who did it, though. I probably don't need a BRB screen for me sprinting to the bathroom and then peeing so incredibly hard that it makes noise, but... Hey, Heavy! <laughs> <laughs> this has been a nasty stream and I'm sorry. I hope you're having a good day at work. <coughs> it's like he wanted to pipe up and be like, hey, people are listening to this idiot. Ooh, uh, my food works order is about to be dropped off. D should I mute for my cursed doorbell or let you guys have the jump scare? Okay, okay. Uh, then I will... I will back up my chair slightly so I can get up when necessary, but it's 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 gonna scare me and it might scare you. <laughs> Come on, Scotty. Oh wait, he sent this two minutes ago. He might not ring the doorbell. Give me one second. I gotta go look. dropped it off without ringing the doorbell. I'm, let me put my spinach and eggs and shit away. I'll keep yelling. You can probably hear me. Maybe Scotty follows me on Twitter. Okay. I apologize. I th that was a I falsely advertised on Twitter that there would be a jump scare in this stream. But Scotty decided not to ring the doorbell. But I got my cave-aged Gouda. Uh it's called Hoot Nanny. <laughs> And I got some organic eggs.
I don't know how I want to draw Vera ears. <laughs> uh, heavy, I uh, I posted on Twitter that uh, I had a delivery um, today that I could not reschedule. And I didn't want to reschedule my stream, and so that this would be uh, a stream with a jump scare in it. But, uh, my delivery man apparently remembered the time that Adam told him that, uh, our cat is very afraid of the doorbell. <laughs> this video is, like, louder, suddenly. I love long videos where the audio mixing is different <clears throat> for the whole of the video. But yeah, my, my doorbell is very loud and very scary. So Wynn told me that the the drawing is how the character looks actually and the coat is what they want because it's a very good it's a very good coat So, while I have a captive audience, <coughs> is it better to just release, like, channel redeems uh, and not tell people exactly what they do? <laughs> uh, or, like, have, like, an explanation for them all? Because... Like, I, I have fun toggles on my model that I think would be really fun to have as, like, redeems. Wait. It's shift Z. Yeah, like, I have, I have a coffee. And I have my pronouns, and it covers the fucking chat, and you can't read them because there's nothing there. But, yeah, I want to have, like, redeems where I turn on different toggles. Okay. I, I, I thought it would be cute to just like have like one word in the redeem like coffee or pronouns or uh, I, I honestly want to give Hemlock a ukulele. Um, for when I someday actually learn how to play my ukulele. should drink some water instead of just Mountain Dew. <sighs> okay. What are these fake uh, facial markings? This character is probably a cat mouth. Okay. Uh, I love how I drew all of that and then now I'm just putting a giant coat on them. <laughs>
since it's not going full armor. But, uh... Man, I really like some of the designs in Final Fantasy XIV. Still not gonna fucking play it, but... This is a nice coat. <laughs> I kind of want to force them to be barefoot so I can add some of those like fluffy fluffy bunny peeps peats like the long ones I have no clue what to do after this drawing. Cause this is my my last one. Ah. Hell yeah. Aaron, let me know if you want me to draw Bula. I love her. draw green as a plushie, but uh, green's already a plushie. <laughs> and I, I feel like I would be just inviting worse things onto me by involving more plush imagery in green's life. Uh, for those not in my Friday D&D &D game, uh, my character was briefly... <laughs> briefly cursed uh, to be attached at the soul to a uh, plush cat no a cat made out of paper um and like if if it got hurt I would get hurt <laughs> and uh it was not a fun time, and I, I do not want that energy in Green's life. <laughs> okay, this character has orange eyes. Yeah, I think um, Bula and Radani are the only characters in the party that I have not done like official headshots for, and... After this, I will have like an hour in my block, so I, I might as well. This is like my uh <laughs> tenth plushy drawing or something.
And while I've been enjoying them, I am ready to move on. <laughs> My friend wins new Vera in Final Fantasy. I think they they are non-bunnery, but uh, you can only have female character models for Vera, so they have a giant coat to cover the boobs. <laughs> trying so hard to like give myself better drawing habits track of my layers. <laughs> My main issue with hair is uh, shading, but we're working on it. Okay, I'm gonna color and then add more details so I don't make things weirder for myself. I don't know what made me think about it, but I I have some sad news. I uh I fixed Hemlock's cowboy legs. I uh I no longer crouch like a cowboy. Oh gosh. <laughs> I I love how by description you have kind of made it seem like your your human job is giving children bad news <laughs> which I I know is not specifically your work but it 
it has kind of seemed like your job is to tell children about injustice. <laughs> like, yeah, people go to the beach and it's fun and you can't do it. Also, civil rights haven't always existed. Good luck with that knowledge, child. Yep. I, uh... I have a young niece who is handling being in a pandemic, like, weirdly well. Uh, but I, I cannot imagine, like, having to explain all this sh stuff to kids. It sounds so stressful and sad. And I commend you for handling it so well. I, I get you. <laughs> Sorry, I laugh because uh, I, I was not 100% expecting it, but I should have. Oh, from them. Okay. I... Honestly, I feel like adapting when you're a child is a lot easier. Um... Just like the full like explaining shit seems fairly difficult. Okay, gold details to the coat. I know for a fact that kids take, like, gender stuff fairly well. They're just like, oh, this thing you're explaining to me is true? Okay, gotcha. Cool. I'll be respectful. And it's like, wow, 30-year-old men can't do that. <laughs> Okay, I think this might be this might be the best I got for the bun. <laughs> yeah. I uh we just have to go outside pretty much like no matter what in elementary school and I remember me and my friend would um huddle inside a tire like we had these like giant tractor tires that were like cut in half and like um put on their sides uh so you could like sit under them and, like climb on top of them and we would just hide in the tire in like 20 degree weather during recess I'm just gonna save this as win so I remember who to tag. <laughs> okay. Um, I need to steal a Bula reference from roll 20.
If Roll20 tries to take over my webcam, I'm gonna be so fucking mad. Okay. <laughs> I didn't understand. <laughs> did not realize this entire time that Bula has a fucking She-Ra hair bump. To the public elementary school that was uh, behind my home. <laughs> yes, PJ, watch fucking Shira. Jesus, nasty child. I want to give all halflings like the the big old honking ears. <laughs> We used to have a little herd run around outside in the snow to the parents complain. What? That's so good. Oh, I used to get in trouble in school. Um, because I would, um, run into, like, there's, like, a wooded area, um, in our, like, playground, but it was, like, wooded area for, like, two feet, and then the back fence to my house, and, um, like, occasionally... Um, like, my sister would be homesick and, um, she would, like, let the dogs out. And I would, like, go pet my dogs. <laughs> and I got screamed at for trying to pet my dogs at recess. And I was like, I live there. I can prove it. <laughs> Yeah, it was horrible. Like, I, I, like, constantly wanted to just go home or, like, leave myself snacks by the, uh, by the fence. I'm too used to making live 2D models that I'm, like, constantly using the symmetry tool to just do normal drawing, but... Yeah, there was a short while where, um... My mom had to pick me up from school, despite, um... It just being, like, down a hill, like, no roads. Because, um... 
our principal had found out that I was walking home by myself at like a specific age that they did not allow. And um, like she was not listening to anything my mom said when she was like, but like it's not, sh they don't cross the road. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's so rude. How do you like punish a kid for leaving school when like there is no way that like they told you not to, you know? Like no one expects a child to just get up and like leave. Aaron, is this a collared shirt or like a jacket? It kind of looks like a collared shirt to me. <laughs> you just went home? I want a collared shirt, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. keep going to grab my eraser and my eraser does not work in the symmetry tool. Oh, Jesus. That's horrible. I'm sorry that happened to you. of the symmetry ruler. I should probably resize this to fit the ponytail. If you had your dog with you, I don't think they thought that you were, like, a missing child.
I've seen so many like Facebook boomer complaints about kids not having like the ridiculous hardships that they had as children. And I, I, I honestly do not care. Nice. Heavy, what are you dealing with with your internet company? I've got that that new Comcast data cap. But I should probably make sure I am not uh, reaching when I stream. Uh. Yeah, we had Verizon at our last place and I had no fucking problems and um, they didn't have Fios setups when we moved here, so we're on Comcast. And it has been a fucking nightmare! Yeah, we, um, I straight up bought a Netgear modem because, uh, Comcast has been, like, throttling our Wi-Fi for no fucking reason. Um, and the price just went up because I lost my, um, my like first year discount. And so I lost my discount and then <laughs> they decided to put a data cap on my unlimited internet. <laughs> Horatius. I I finished my plushie. Blech. I finished all of my plushies. <laughs> and uh, so now I'm drawing my friend's halfling rogue. Her name is Bula and I love her. No, be no. <laughs> you will not do this to me. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I pay for one of the more expensive internet plans with Comcast, and I had to do a lot of work for them to actually let me, um, not buy their useless fucking cable. It's 
It's like, I'm not gonna fucking watch Swartz. Leave me alone. Seven. What kind of internet do you have that's like also being shitty to you and costs two hundred and seven dollars? Or are you like super rural? Hell yeah. Tell me how your new laptop is. Uh oh, so you guys are like actually paying for like cable. I'm assuming your mom has like a landline and that's another <laughs> expense. Comcast is ugh. so expensive and they're so useless. I completely get you. It fucking sucks. Keyboard and mouse, at least, isn't the difficult part of putting together a setup, though. You're already most of the way there.
it will probably need an update. But, uh, it probably won't cost you money to update, at least. I need Bula's makeup. Like, I, I like the Bula that you have right now for a token, but I feel like you were playing her much more fun than, like, devious. And we need, we need a happy Bula. Aaron, do you want any earrings while I'm in here? <sighs> Stretching. Hell yeah. Glitter? Does Bula need drip? Fancy shit. Yeah, I feel like there should be uh, plenty of people who stream through Xbox and know how to customize stuff. to do like a little chain. Drip is just, like, shit that makes you look rich. I'm sorry, every time I drink, I look absolutely crazy. <laughs> and the pool is a rogue, and I have no clue what wild stuff she was getting up to before she joined our party. 
Thank you. I'm gonna do a little uh, fake background. Oh, my mouse fell asleep. <laughs> it was not happy. Bula can do whatever she wants. She's not getting into the same trouble that Malakar is getting into, but... <laughs> I love Malakar so much. I, I, I was talking to Pat about doing... Uh, a redesign of Malakar so we could in theory like um like jokingly have merch of him and not like break copyrights and uh that was <laughs> yeah and that was that that uh drawing that Pat put up on the screen the other day. I did I did like a sketch of a possible new Malakar who is a, a parakeet and not a duck. Cuz uh his his model is uh not uh it was not purchased. <laughs> I remember you talking about your very, very good boy, Heavy. I love him very much and he's very important to me. I, uh... I need to convince B to let us do, um... The 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 D, D extension that's just like you play red wall characters <laughs> uh for for some kind of uh campaign in peculiar little role plays i want to play burb or a raccoon i think that would be fun okay i have 20 more minutes in this block. Do should I just should I just draw Malakar in my last 20 minutes? I just kind of like in in his redesign I took away his cape and I gave him a bigger hat and I made him a parakeet instead of a duck. I, I will not ask for spoilies, but uh, I will I will have you know that I am your biggest fan, and I am hype. I I just I want to be little. I want to be so little, little and powerful. Yes, our um, our favorite NPC in in our game is just just a, a lol guy he's just a lol guy his name is malakar and i love him um kind of regretting closing my roll 20 tab
Malakar betters. Oh wait, no, this isn't. Fuck. Oh, okay. I have access to a Malakar. Good. This is uh, our sweet little boy. But uh, he does not belong to us, and that is the problem. Just he's just two orbs. But I, I thought he would be even cuter with like a, a smaller beak. A little a little budgy beak. And then an even bigger wizard hat. Because he is a wizard. He is like a fairly high leveled wizard. He's, he's much stronger than us. You have budgies? I love them so much. They're such good little dudes. Still. Budgies are more rude roommates than pets either way, so. Most birds are. <laughs> I believe I have talked about my love for old dogs before, but old birds sound amazing. Malakar's main thing is that, like, he doesn't have arms, but, like, it would probably be fine to give him, like, little winglings, like, like, little ones, right? Because, like, he still wouldn't be able to do things with them. Oh, damn. Powerful old ladies. Have you thought that maybe your birds just wanted to be lesbians? And so they, they let the men die. I think like the sillier the better with a when when making a Malakar. He, like, his, his race is not, like, technically, like, bird people. He is, like, I, I think the, <laughs> the best comparison I have is, like, the wizards from Lord of the Rings, where, like, they're not human. Um... I, I don't remember what they're called. Don't don't fucking fake nerd me, please. Um But uh he like 
was placed on the material plane and like based on his personality he was like given this body and like he he has an an, an old colleague who like looks like a kobold and then one that looks like a frog and so like he's not technically a bird and he he does not see himself as a bird jelly bean oh. <laughs> i love them already i need them to know that they are very important to me <laughs> I, I think his hat needs to be, like, more covering his eyes. Or his eyes need to be lower. Do I have his eyes half covered or have them like right next to oh they gotta be right next to the beak they gotta be right next to the beak holy shit holy shit holy shit i've cracked the case <laughs> losing it right now <laughs> thank you uh, I think all birds know that people love them they all assume that that they are the most important thing in the world but like I, I want them to know no okay this boy needs lines um Should, should he have a generic blue wizard hat with stars on it? I think, I think just like that, like super familiar image will be good for his just like overall lovableness. Yes. I think like this like nice Oh yeah, I got what you meant. This nice like teal blue. Uh is like just just different enough. 
Oh dear. God, the fact that this is like my last stream without ads is fucking hilarious to me. Okay, hat, hat done, hat fucking handled. Um, shit. I gotta look up budgies and pick a pick a color scheme. Because I, um, I like a good, like, the white and blue. The yellow and green is incredibly iconic. Um. I think, I think I might do a yellow and green. Just give him, give him more color. Yeah, it's, it's so good. I, I do also love a good, just like plain yellow budgie. Bye, old shitty Malakar. There's a new Malakar in town. Okay. Just gonna use like this dark yellow green for lines and then we'll. Jelly, you're perfect, and I'm I'm so sure that Malakar would want to be your friend. He might make it weird though. He is uh uncomfortably a very sexual being. coming together into my magnum opus. Okay. And then I'm I'm thinking just some some fucking stick legs with no definition to the toes. None.
and then those perfect little soulless eyes that are somehow always looking at you. Oh my god. Oh, whoops. That was the wrong way. Holy shit. Wait, did I just... Why did I put it on that layer? the yellow on and then we will we will add this beautiful neon green I might need to make, make that a little bit brighter There we go. <laughs> I, think, I think we done it. We did it, guys. We made the ultimate Malakar. <laughs> okay, we need a couple more stars. This is going to be a sticker that I make, by the way. Sorry, I'm saving. I'm not just staring at my own work. It's just not showing you the menus. <laughs> yes. Malakar is supremely powerful. Incredibly. He can, like, teleport. He can kill dragons. But he is dumb as a sack of bricks. And I love him so much. <laughs> with the hue of this until I decide what I want his background to be. There we go. That's eye gougingly perfect. saturated yeah he never fucking knows what's going on and I love it himbo wizard
I might make the hat a little bit darker now that I'm looking at it. <laughs> like it's uh, I, I think it's an interesting thing at least um, in a game to have like uh, a very powerful character that like can just like destroy things very straight on but like does not understand puzzles um and shit like that. Like, he's a good boy. And he came with us to uh, investigate a lesbian sex cult on an island. But, like, he's not offering too much. <laughs> I have filled my three hour gap. Thank you guys very much for sitting with me. I am gonna go watch anime <laughs> and take a small break before I play D&D. &D. And, and Twitch. Twitch, when, when you decide to recognize that this is my seventh stream, I will apply for affiliate. Twitch. I'm looking into your soul, Twitch. You will load quickly and you will let me apply for affiliate and you will say yes before Monday. No, we. this is not a Twitch insulting stream. This is a Twitch praising stream, okay? Twitch, you are a functioning website. Your code works perfectly. You will let me apply for affiliate. And you will give it to me. No, shut up. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys very much. Um, I think uh, Saturday night, um, I am playing Toontown with Bone Pharaoh and whoever else is joining us on um, her channel. Uh, Monday, we are playing Black Desert. And um, either Wednesday or Friday, I am making myself in 3D. So if I ever want to play VR chat, with other streamers, I can be my character. Thank you very much. I will see you guys later. I love you. <laughs>